Hi, Tony Milady. This is Jared England with Gardner. How are you? I'm doing fantastic. How are you doing? I'm doing wonderful. Has your 2020 been as fun as mine? Uh, it's been pretty eventful, to say the least. Uh, with all the COVID things going on, it's been a bumpy road, but we're getting along so far. Sure, sure. I've got to ask, how have you and your team uh, acclimated to this new post-COVID world we're living in? Oh, uh, you know, um, starting off, we, we were pretty rocky. We had a lot of people working at home, a lot of people working in the office still. So we had people all over the place. So it was hard to stay connected as a company. And there's always going to be some uh, some setbacks with uh, with tech issues. You know, not everyone's always um, super acclimated with how, how the tech runs. So things like Zoom calls like this are more of an issue than you would think. Sure, sure. Um, well, hey, uh, hopefully that works out for you guys. Um, but say, I couldn't help but notice, uh, uh, is that a Browns poster you have hanging up on your wall behind you? Are you a Browns oh, why, fan? Yes, it is. Why, yeah? Yes, it is. I'm, a, I'm actually, in fact, the biggest Browns fan on the, on the entire planet. Well, that's impossible because I'm the biggest Browns <laughs> fan on the entire planet. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> but that's awesome that, yeah. <laughs> Have you, did you catch the game on Sunday? How did you, what did you of think of course. that? Of course. Um, you know, obviously we're both big Browns fans. We know that uh, they always start off strong and, and seem to mess it up by the end, but they, uh, they came through and got it done for us last weekend, especially against the uh, pretty tough team. I would say like the Texans, they did a, they did a nice job. Sure. Uh, yeah. I'm yeah. Browns out there, real <laughs> it's definitely a love hate relationship with the Browns. You never know. Always never a love hate relationship. <laughs> well, Hey, <laughs> Tony, I don't want to take up too much of your time here today. Um, if it's all right with you, I'd like to give you kind of a, an outlook for this meeting, um, kind of some of the things I'd like to, to cover. Um, so first off, the, the purpose of this meeting uh, is for me to introduce some of the services we offer here at Gartner and how those services would be a great fit for you and United Bank. Um, before we get into anything, is there, uh, is there anything that you'd like to make sure gets covered today? Yeah, I just want to make sure before we get down to uh... – to the more business thing, you know, signing papers, sending money around that, uh, that, that when we're figuring everything out that we have each other's best interests in mind, you know, sure. a lot of money hungry sharks out there looking just to uh, get some sure. money off us as a big company like us. But I just want to, uh, yeah, emphasize that we both have each other's interests in mind and that we're a good fit for each other in the long sure. run. Sure. Um, yeah. Uh, I, t I will, I totally understand that. And I appreciate you, uh, uh, disclosing some of those concerns with me and uh, I'll make sure to address those later on in the presentation. Sound good? Yeah, that sounds perfect. I'm excited to get into it. Awesome. Awesome. So uh, for me, I would like to uh, make sure we discuss uh, where you and your team are at now and where you guys would like to be in the future. I want to know, you know, your goals, your challenges and your timeline. Um, and then I would like to introduce our services to you and give you an in-depth presentation on how these services can help you with some of the challenges that you are facing. Um, and then lastly, I want to address any questions you have for me and uh, hopefully we can, we uh, can come to a deal. <laughs> All right. um, uh, Tony, I have our meeting scheduled for 15 minutes. Uh, does that still work for you? Uh, yeah, that sounds perfect. There should be plenty of time to get everything, uh, get everything done. Awesome. Awesome. Uh, and by the end of this meeting, uh, we're going to have a better understanding of how this partnership will work uh, going forward. Sound great? That sounds perfect. Let's get into it. Awesome. Awesome. Uh, so first off, uh, Tony, could you give me kind of an idea, a rundown uh, of some of the goals United Bank has going into the current fiscal year? Right, right. So um, just as an overall company, a lot of, like you know, most companies just want to increase revenue, cut costs, you know, same kind of thing. But over here at United Bank, just to give you more of a number standpoint, we'd like to uh, increase revenue by 10% while cutting costs by 4%. Mm -hmm. That's kind of just our big focus as a company, but myself as the uh, as a CIO, I have, uh, I have plans to create and execute an IT strategy that contributes to the overall goal mm -hmm. of the company. You know, I, I just want to sustain competitive advantage against other companies. And uh, leading on with the IT thing, um, I'm pretty uh, pretty new to, to the IT department, I, I would say, so I want to get a better understanding of IT efficiencies. There's some, there's some cost reductions that are that are to be found over there. Sure. Um, just figure out more where spending and staffing compares to uh, the other banks in our uh, our line of business. Mm -hmm. So yeah, things like that. Or we just want to polish things up, get fine-tuned things. You know. 
Sure, I see. Um, now, in your personal opinion, what are some of the biggest obstacles that United Bank is currently facing that are, you know, hindering your ability to reach those goals? Yeah, so uh, one of the one of the big things I would say for myself is I'm I'm pretty new to the whole um, banking industry, and I'm actually pretty new to United Bank as a company. Mm -hmm. I just got here a few months ago, and I, um, you know, I've never really been in the banking industry as a whole. I spent the past eleven years working in a an accounting firm as a CIO, so the whole banking thing's kind of new. But another issue, more uh, getting down into actual business itself, one of the biggest issues we're having is our, our budget system's out of date. Like I said, I just I just got to this uh, this new company over here. The last company I worked for, sadly to say, it had a it had a better uh, had a better budget system going for it, and that's kind of why I'm unsatisfied with one we have now. And I just want to uh, change it. I think it's time for an upgrade over here. So yeah, I just want to fix our budget systems a little bit, and I'm pretty new, so so for me to get some new uh, new education, that'd be that'd be perfect. Sure, sure. Um... Now, I, I know you mentioned earlier uh, that you're planning to implement a new IT strategy. Uh, what's the general timeline looking like for that? Um, well, like we always say, there's, as, if things can get done as soon as possible, that'd be perfect. But, but uh, definitely want it done by the end of the year, probably within the, uh, within the few upcoming months. I would, like a, I would like that new budget worked out a little bit. Sure. Um, well, if I'm breaking it down here, uh, it sounds to me like the three main issues you're facing as CIO is uh, reducing your costs, increasing your revenue, and gaining the capacity to execute an IT strategy. Is that accurate? Yep, that sounds correct. All right. Well, obviously you have a lot on your plate. Uh, I would <laughs> I would say that uh, I would say that you could really use a service that can help mitigate some of the challenges that you are facing as CIO and support you and your team in achieving those goals. Um, and uh, I have some good news for you, Tony. Uh, Gartner offers a service just like that. Uh, it's called Gartner for CIOs. Uh, uh -huh. It is a, a subscription-based service that can be accessed online via the My Gartner web portal. It will cost you about $50,000 a year, and by subscribing, you will be automatically locked in for three years. Uh, the way I like to describe it to people is, think of it kind of like a, a gym membership. Uh, just like a gym membership, uh, the service can only be accessed by you and you alone, um, and it can be broken down into three main parts. Uh, there's the research, the cost optimization, and the executive partner. Now, uh, personally, I would say that uh, there's tremendous value to be had in all three of these, but considering your specific uh, situation, I would say that you and your team will probably find the most value out of the cost optimization and the executive partner. Now, if you don't mind, I'm going to uh, take a second here to share my screen with you so I can show you some uh, visual aids. That sounds perfect. Awesome. Take your time. I know how the, uh, the old Zoom share and screen yeah. thing can be a bit of an issue sometimes. <laughs> that's right. That's right. <laughs> All right. Are you looking at my screen? I got it. I'm seeing it. Awesome. So uh, on this first page here, uh, it's kind of giving you an overview of the IT uh, budget tool. Um, the way this works is um, you will have access to the customized comparison of uh, United Bank's IT budget, and you will be able to compare that against uh, the largest repository of IT metrics and benchmarks in the world. Uh, there's no limit to the amount of times you can input information into the budget tool. So uh, I think this will be a perfect uh, tool for assisting you in every step of the uh, way through your budgeting process. Um, if you need to justify your department spending to higher ups, you have your budget tool. If you need to ask for some budget increases, budget tool, uh, and most pertinent to your, your situation, uh, this tool is perfect for identifying areas where there's some unnecessary spending going on or you could get away with cutting your budget in those places. and uh, bring down some of your costs. Um, moving on to the next deliverable under cost optimization, we have our contract review. Are you able to see that? I see it. Awesome. So the way the contract uh, review works is you will be able to submit a vendor contract for review by subject matter expert. Uh, they will review the contract and notate areas where pricing is higher than industry standard. Uh, 
and uh, yeah, I think that'll be perfect for you in terms of uh, uh, bringing down your costs as well. Um, and then moving on, lastly, we have our executive partner. There we go. And I just have a, a, an example of an executive partner here, uh, but basically how our executive partner program works is uh, we will assign you a partner with experience in senior technology executive roles. Uh, they will serve you as your primary point of contact to define and develop strategies, such as the IT strategy you mentioned earlier. Uh, I know how hectic and unpredictable the business world can be. Um, we don't even know where the industry will be next month, let alone next year. So it, it can be especially difficult uh, making uh, long-term plans, but I think uh, this program will definitely help you uh, by having someone there with knowledge and experience uh, to help prepare for your future. Yeah. Um, so that being said, I'm going to stop sharing. Um, do you see where Gartner can help bring value and initiative to United Bank? Yeah, Jared, I, I see the value, but um, one thing I'm concerned about, you said it's a, it's a $50,000 a year price and I'm locked in for three years, which brings me to a total of $150,000 mm -hmm. in a three year span. And I'm kind of just concerned that we can't spend that much money. And I'm kind of concerned bringing that up to uh, bring that up to Megan. Uh, the cost just seems a little bit high. Is there something you could, uh, you could do to alleviate some of that? Kind sure, of sure. Well, that is a very legitimate concern. Um, I will say that statistically speaking, we see about a 15 to 20% re cost reduction in three out of the four contacts we review under our contract review uh, program. So I believe that alone uh, will more than make up for uh, the price of our program in, in the long term. Okay, that, uh, that kind of- uh, That alleviate it for you yeah, a little bit, yeah. It makes me feel a little bit better, especially sure. with it being every three and four contracts, you know, we've got tons of contracts over here. So sure, sure. Sure. A lot up. All right. Um, Any other objections? Yeah. One of the other things is, uh, I've definitely, you're definitely not the first, uh, company to offer me kind of the same things. So sure. I've heard these things before and I'm just worried about how, you know, I've, I've heard it from tons of other representatives just like you. So what, uh, what's something that makes you more credible than the others? Well, we here at, Gartner, we are the world's leading research and advisory company. Uh, we have access to more resources and better quality resources than our competitors. Um, in fact, uh, one of our executive partners have actually worked with Bank of America for over 11 years now. Uh, and so I can get you the email of Kathy Besant. She's the CIO of Bank of America, and she will uh, definitely attest to the quality of our service that we provide here at Gartner. All right, I, I would definitely like to uh, have a conversation with her about it and, and see just how it benefited her. Sure, sure. Lastly, uh, my last concern, I, I'm, I've kind of been thinking about this one a lot. It seems that uh, the things that you offer, the things that I was hired in to do, my United Bank, so explain to me, uh, if they have you, it seems like they don't need me. What is, uh, what's going on with all that? Well, let me tell you, Tony, it's not our goal nor are our services designed to replace you in any way? We are purely here to assist you in any way you, you need us, uh, just as a helping hand. Uh, for example, uh, regarding our contract reviews, it is our policy not to negotiate with vendors on your behalf. We simply provide information to help you become more equipped in the renegotiation process. Um, so any one of our services you look at, I, I don't think it's supplemental for the role that you play and the contributions you make in United Bank. Um, but I, it definitely does go a long way to help you in de making decisions, uh, uh, forming plans, et cetera. Does that make sense? Yeah, that makes sense. And I think that uh, eased my nerves a little bit. I like that. Uh, and I still kind of have the power in making decisions, but you guys are still helping me out. Sure, sure. So yeah. Cool. Well, well, Tony, um, that being said, uh, do you think we, we can uh, make a deal here? Yeah, yeah, I think so. I think, uh, I think I can talk to Megan. I can get a meeting set up for us sometime, uh, sometime next week, depending on what you have open. Um, how sure. does, uh, how does uh, this time next week, same time, Friday, about 3 p.m. sound to you? Sure, it sounds wonderful. Yeah, I appreciate the opportunity for uh, 
for first of all meeting with me today and then uh, giving me a, a, a second chance to talk with you and with Megan. That'll be yeah. awesome. Well, no great. I appreciate, uh, I appreciate everything you had to say to me tonight. So awesome. thank you. And you have my contact information. So if you have any questions for me, feel free to reach out. I'm, I'm always available. Um, and yeah, I, that being said, I will see you next week. All right. I'll see you next week. Thank you. See right. ya. See ya.